And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Factorio. Just got done with Military 4, which is nice. Uh, yeah, Military 4. Now we're going to be able to make piercing shotgun shells. So here I am. Up here, where we have all the ingredients. We have steel, copper, and iron. All gloriously right where we need them. So let's put in uh, one of these... And this is going to be regular shotgun, and these are going to be piercing shotgun. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right, let's put a provider chest, and this is going to go over, over. Okay, so these need copper and iron, which are down here. Uh, and let's see if we're going to be able to sneak through here. I think we are. Uh, and these need copper, but these, these need iron. And these don't need iron. These need steel, which is right here. Okay, so we want uh, a copper, copper, a steel, and an iron. Okay, power-wise, let's hook this up. And let's put a limit on this of two stacks. Because these are, I mean, these are eight second crafts, so it's not super fast. Um, and it doesn't, you know, absorb too much steel. Uh, copper is really where we're going to be using a lot. But it's two. See, this is an eight second craft. And these are a three second craft. So we make enough of these uh, to, to keep this one going constantly. And that's really, really what I want. Um... So, yeah, I'm going to put the the eight regular shotgun shells that we've got in there. And I'm going to pull the piercing ones out. Oh, yeah. Very nice. I like it. Uh, so we can actually research a few shotgun shell upgrades. Uh, shotgun shell damage and shooting speed. So let's get, uh, let's get damage going here. Uh, and try to get as many of these as we can before we leave the before we leave the area. So yeah, I've got a a uh, radar down here so we can see what's going on, and we've got I put some uh, turrets in just you know to protect the area, just in case random biters try to wander in and stake their claim. We wanna we wanna avoid them doing that. All right, how are See, circuit area up here, looks like we've got a couple drills that are a little a little low. Um, and same with iron. So, yeah, we're going to need an iron smelting setup sooner rather than later. But I really want to start pushing towards more of decentralized processing, especially for circuits. So we've got the green circuit set up going and it's doing pretty well but once this runs out of copper and there's still a lot of copper there but it's going to also run out of iron soon as well uh so we're probably going to need a few more loading zones um uh, merged in with this whole process so we can unload iron directly okay this whole area looks pretty good Ooh, we got a couple drills that are out let me grab those. There's another one here. All, all these are good. Uh, I do want to grab some more drills. So let's go over to where we're actually making drills. I'm, I started pulling them from the bottom here. So I'm just going to grab me a bunch of drills for no particular reason. Uh, I don't think this research is actually using blue. No, it's not. So... Blue is not being used at all, which is good for us. Yeah, red circuits, big time. And after, after we maximize ourselves on red circuits, we're going to need a blue circuit outpost as well, and that is going to be quite an adventure to get that going. Ooh, it looks like we've got uh, one out here. Yeah, this process, this setup, runs out of iron pretty quickly. If... If all of this drains out, the iron only gets to about right here. So the rest of these are empty. 
but I want to keep these mining and they're not they're they won't be mining if uh, if we uh, remove or if we supplement them with these extras I do supplement them already with these um, but the main trunk of this big iron blotch here is largely untouched so yeah lots and lots of iron oh I'm stuck on a tree all right so copper looks like it's going pretty good we're loading up the last few on the copper here so let's I'll actually want to make these last three like stack inserters I think just so it loads it fast and and it pushes these out here because uh, these have actually a surplus in them so yeah as they drain out here you can see they're putting two two on the belt at a time and if I research that next stack inserter uh, these regular ones would actually be able to put three on the belt at a time oh it looks like it's full just about it's weird that the the middle one here was not full first but all right so now it's gonna get backed up everything is gonna be good mining out I did add a drill to the bottom here just to just to keep a small surplus I was right in in that one one extra drill was enough to keep these to keep these stacked up so that's good so let's head down here I did uh, create a little crafting system for wooden chests because I'm going to be using a few of these as we go but I want to get some of this iron mined here um, and there's really no iron anywhere else so once this iron is mined I don't I won't need this out here although I could probably pull in this iron too so there there's that option uh, so we're going to set this up and I'm not going to smelt the iron here although I could there's enough space uh, there's enough space in here I could I could create this as my iron smelting outpost um, but then I would need another I would need another offload because this one's going to be that copper ore and that's a like 7 million copper ore plus the 2.4 so that's almost 10 million copper right here that's a lot of copper so I'm this copper ore supply that's going to be very very busy uh, plus we have this 1.7 up here that I can bring down so yeah this copper ore is that's that's going to be very very busy um, I could create off of this copper smelting area I could create an iron smelting area you know linked up to it I would just need to probably probably go out here and create the system so the trains would come down here I would loop them around so it would have to come down down here I don't care about this stone but yeah I could create a I could create the iron smelting down here so the copper and iron would kind of share a smelting area uh, I'm liking that plan I do I like that plan um, in this area oh hello uh, I'm gonna do shooting speed uh, we're gonna need a more or less a oil oil refinery area and we got a little oil here little tidbits here we got this big deposit down here I think I might add a little loop here and and stretch this out and this will be my my oil smelting area I think that's a good idea so we're gonna keep with this iron just like it is ok 
Okay, and let's uh, stretch those out. All right, now I'm not going to be shy about mining this iron. I'll try to mine the entire block out here. Okay, let's start down here. A little bit more, a little bit more standardized smelting operation than uh, what I was using in my other base. I know I had a lot of comments uh, regarding my my choices in mining placement, and I'm hoping hoping people are a little bit more happy with this setup. Okay. Mine all the things. This one I can actually offset a little bit further back. Not waste, not waste anything. Okay, I'm gonna put that one right up next to it. Okay, this is gonna get a little, this is gonna get a little gnarly. So I'm gonna keep with our, with our nice setup here. So here and here, I think all I need. Okay, so uh, belts. Oh, I hope I have enough belts. One there. One there. And then all these. Get them down. Wow, that's a lot of iron. Uh, how many belts do I have? <clears throat> so what I think I'm going to do is merge let's see what's what's my line right here I'm gonna take this one I'm gonna merge this one and this one uh, and maybe Okay, how many belts do I? Oh yeah, I'm I'm running a little low, running a little low on belts. Okay, so this one can merge in. I'm gonna merge this one is as well, and those will go to the very front. But then I'm gonna kind of bring these other ones in from here, like that. These will go to supplement this side. So get a little bit more loaded at once. Okay, so let's place let's place the power. Like so. Let's place these up here so they get as much coverage as possible. So right there. I think there. And there should cover everything. Uh, all right, let's uh, hook them up. Granted, massive amount of power. You can see the big jump, the big jump in power right there. Uh, so if we go out here, you can see these are starting to load up. These are starting to load up. And now we've got a ton of iron coming in. Even even stretching into here. But with this secondary one over here, um it'll it'll you know be able to load some of these ahead of time. That way when these fill up and then these start filling up, we'll get even more over here. So I'm going to make these the stack inserters like I did the last side. 
So that way we get a little bit more load along the lines. And that's a lot of iron coming in now, right now. If we look at this, it's 3.3 million. So that's quite a lot. And these hold stacks of 50. So that is 500. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight hundred. So each one of these chests will hold eight hundred. Uh, so three point three million will go a long ways to fill up these chests over and over and over again. All right. So this next one is the copper ore supply, and I don't think I really have that many miners left. I only have twenty miners left. Uh, so let's go look. I'm, I'm going to need to clear out some of these biters um, so let's get down there clear those guys out you are dead okay so all of the they're all in here in various places so let's just start clearing little pieces here and there so we can find them there we go oh I love robots love me some robots okay so I think we should have a few in here somewhere. Hard to spot with all the trunks and miscellaneous stuff in here, but we should be able to spot them. Oh, there they are, right in here. Okay, and I see a few in here. How's my inventory? Let's uh, dump as much of this wood as we can. Uh, I know there's some over there. There's one there. No, yeah, we got some mixed in with these trees here, so I'm gonna clear all these out. There they are. Excellent. There's another one. We've got lots of them down here. Shadows. Shadows are hard to differentiate. Ooh, yeah, we got some more down here. Somewhere. There's, I think that's the one I was looking for. Oh, there's actually another one right in here, I think. Yeah, right there. Uh, I do have a bunch of pumps on me, so let's uh, get let's get these up and running. I'm liking that they highlight. You can see the green highlights over all of these. Well, this is a lot of oil right here. Um, I need some more pumps. Yeah, that was a lot of oil. Impressive. Uh, okay, so this one and this one. So I think that's all of them. Let's check. Yeah, I'm not just looking at the pattern. You know, you got the little V here. So there's a V here. We got three down here. We got those. We got those. I, I think we got them all. So uh, now for the tough part. I don't really have all that much to work with here. So I'm going to try. Uh, we're going to try to link up as many of these as we can. So something like that. And I need more. I need more pipe. Lots, lots and lots more pipe, actually. Oh, 
I'm going to need some pumps, so let's uh, start crafting those now. Um, pumps, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make five of those. I'm going to make six of those, actually. We're going to go up, drop off the wood, grab a ton of pipes, and create a little system for loading up oil. I might need to grab some tanks as well. Luckily, those are actually in the system. Oh, get, get through there. So I'm going to go up here. There's a bunch of storage chests up here, so that's why I'm wandering this way. But lots and lots of wood. You can see I've got, you know, a wooden chest just to, just to use some of that wood. There we go. And we'll get rid of that stone. Okay, so now that we're up here, I'm going to grab some more mining drills. All of, all of them. I'm going to grab some more lasers. Uh, and what else did I come here for? Pipes. Yes, pipes. <clears throat> Got lots and lots of pipe here. I'm going to grab a few more of these. I'm going to grab all the undergrounds. So there's another 100 undergrounds. Uh, put the stone away. I don't know why I have batteries, but I can put those in there. Okay, I do have five oil refineries. Three more pump jacks. I should automate. Oh. Oh. That's not good. Is this... Where is this? Oh, snap. It's over in my new iron area. That's not good. That's a long walk, too. Can I make a car? Um, I can. Okay. Car put in. Do I have any fuel? Uh, I don't have any fuel. I'm going to put in those. Whatever. Follow the railroad tracks even though it's incredibly dangerous. Oh. Ow. Ow. It's too many trees. Way too many trees. Yeah, 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 I'm getting there. It had to appear down, way down over here. I need to create some treeless areas for uh, running running around. Uh, but let's get in here. Kill all the things. Okay, well... Nowhere. Oh. Yeah. So that was unfortunate. They took out quite a lot of stuff. Where did they come from? Ah. Yep. Well, we're going to put an end to that. If I can make it through here. Uh, yeah. Hello, people. There. Now, how do you feel about the little attack? Silly biters. And look at all the iron. Oh, these are already full. Holy cow, these filled up fast. That is impressive. Okay. So, where were we? Way down here. Yeah, I'm going to need to protect this area as well. Okay, so these, so these three are connected here, so I'm going to bridge these 
in with this one, like so. And then we're going to, so that's connected there, that's connected there. So this is going to be, I'm going to add a pump like that. So it'll really force the fluid up and in. We're going to go up like this. Okay. Now, I would like to, if I go over, where's my main, yeah, so this, this over here, it's going to kind of become my main trunk. I just need to be able to import it here. Oh, yeah, that's. Right there, and that can loop around like so. It's fine. I'm not too concerned. Um, over here, though, this is this is where the trouble spot is, right in here. Okay, link that up. There is that one. I'm going to put another pump. If I can find it. There it is. Like so. So all of these are now connected. Now all of these need to be connected. So let's figure out uh, the best way for this to happen. Uh, I'm going to bring all of these over. Uh, so this one can come over. This one is a nice, nice extension there. So we're going to have one pop up there, one pop up there. Actually, this one can come across. And we're going to go across here. And then this one can come up. Up, over, up. All of those are connected. Now we just need this one to connect it there. And uh, let's put a pump. Oh, I'm out of. Okay. There and there. So I'm going to put a pump right in here somewhere. So keep that pressurized. That's the name of the game here is keeping that pressurized. Because we want to keep these pipes pressurized as they go up into our area here. So I'm going to clear out a little path. Okay, maybe a little bigger path. There we go. So the tank wagons um, are a little, I've not used them yet. And so this is kind of a learning process for me. Um, there we go. So we are up to where we need to be. Uh, and now it's just a matter of trying to get this stuff loaded. And I don't think I have, I have a cargo wagon. I can make a fluid wagon. So let's see. Ooh, it takes three tanks to make. Okay, so let's take the fluid wagon here. Uh, I just kind of want to put it where it needs to be. Whoa, what? Oh, cool, you can have three different, okay. That's cool. Um, so I want a tank 
Not sure how much fluid this can hold. Um, I mean, if it's three tanks worth, that would be nice, but I doubt, I doubt it's that much. Uh, so I'm going to have a tank right here. No, nope, I'm going to need a pump like right here. And then a tank underneath that. So let's clear a little bit more of this out. Because <coughs> I really want that tank to have a lot in it. Uh, I'm not sure what happened there. I saw I saw a change. I saw something happen. I might want a few more of these. So yeah, I'm I'm seeing a little artifact there. I'm not sure what that means though. I'm not sure. Uh, so the oil is gonna come right in here. And if I wanted to really make sure it's gonna go it's gonna be what I want, I can put another pump in line. And that should ensure we're getting the most most pressure in here because we want to make sure this is heavily pressurized even though these might not be uh, all right so let's try to be smart about placement here we got a lot of pumps that we got to keep in mind so right here here I'm gonna be putting a lot of uh, I'm gonna have a lot of turrets down in here just because we we need them make it haphazard that way the biters won't know where to go first. Okay. Now we can connect these up like so. And we should be getting some oh yeah, look at that. Loading up quick. So now we just need a train. And I don't have enough engines. Unfortunate. And iron looks like iron is maxed out. Excellent. Um, yeah, that's fine. So that should calm down the, yeah, calm down the pollution over here. Ooh, yeah, look at the pollution over here now. Quite a bit. Oh, it's not on. I was like, why isn't it blinking in? But it's not on. So, all right. Well, that'll have to do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.